What is going on y'all? Welcome to the Thai Life. My name is Min and I have been doing nails for 15 plus years and my goal is to share with you all my experience, all my knowledge to help you become a great nail tech and have a good career. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button to get the latest notification on my coolest fun tutorial content. And today, I want to talk to you about acrylic marble design and how easy it is and how fast it is and how much the client's gonna love you for it so stay tuned y'all what is a marble design a marble design is literally just on the nails and usually it looks like a marble rocks that's it it's literally a bunch of scribbly line with some thick lines, some light line, and some faded area, and it kind of crisscross each other. And that is it. That's how simple it is. And I know some of y'all probably still struggle how to do a marble design on acrylic. Today is your day. I'm gonna help you. Let's get it. First, I should put a rosebud on my client's nail as the base and the nail that I'm going to do the design, I'm going to make sure it's not too thick. So how am I going to do the marble design acrylic? I'm going to go in with the XXX white by Young Nail and Young Nail Monomer with this little tiny art brush. I'm going to pick up the bead and literally all I'm doing is just going from one corner to the other corner creating a line. When it comes to nail art y'all, I know a lot of nail techs want the line to be straight. They want things to be perfect, but this marble design is an abstract design. It's not supposed to look straight. It's not supposed to look perfect, but because it doesn't look perfect, it's going to look pretty. So all I'm doing, I'm scrolling down the line. And if I notice if the line's getting too thick on that side, I'm going to add more monomer to melt it out, to make it faded. And if I notice it's too faded, it's not getting me enough depth, I'm going to go in with the monomer, maybe add a little bit more acrylic. And that's pretty much it, y'all. And literally, I'm just going to swirl it the line. At this point, the client is going to love you already. Why? Because a lot of nail tech does not do acrylic marble design. They usually draw it on. And then a lot of time, even nail tech don't do design. So now that you offer this special design, they want to pay more, they want to love you more, and they're gonna look at you like an artist, you know? So same thing how I'm going with this to second fingers. I'm just gonna scribble the line. If I feel like I need more light on that side, I add more. There's really no right or wrong, y'all. No right or wrong. It's literally going with the flow. Like I say, if it looks good to your eyes, it should look good to the client because they never had something like that before. But you also have to trust the process. This is a process where you have to trust. Don't even go for the look, just trust the process. So after the marble, I decided I want to give her some gold flakes. The marble is pretty itself, but I want to make this marble pop. I want popping marble. So I'm going to go with the gold flake. But first, before I put the gold flake on, I have to go in with the foil adhesive. So where is like this gel stuff that I put on where I want the gold flakes to be. I put on the nail, on the marble design, and I cured it for 45 seconds. Once I cure that for 45 seconds, now I can apply the gold flake. This gold flake, when you apply it on, can be a little tricky because it's like a fine, 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 thin paper. And sometimes it breaks apart, it crumbles. Look, trust the process. Just go with the flow. If you feel like you need to add some gold in that corner, add a little bit of gold. And here's the trick about this gold flake. If you feel like you put a big chunk on there and you didn't mean to, go in with this like um, katana that I'm using. It has a sharp edge. I kind of scrape it. I kind of scrape the gold apart. And sometimes it just takes it apart. And it, it gives you this a nice rugged gold look and it makes sense, you know what I mean? So that's what I did. So same thing how I am going in with the second finger, okay? Again, I already put the adhesive foil on there so the foil should stick. But even if you put the foil on and it sticks, sometimes you still see like a couple foil lingering on top. What you wanna do is what you wanna do is just get your finger and you just kinda tap it down a little bit. Tap it down, make sure it stays down because you don't want when you start putting the clear powder on, you don't want it to like take the gold away. It, it ruins the vibe and it ruins the 
design, right? So at this moment, is there right or wrong? No. The client is just gonna be like, ooh, that's, that's exciting. I'm, I'm happy you adding this stuff. Look, they never have this stuff done. It's like you really giving them like a five star service right now at this moment because they never had a acrylic marble that looks so clean like that, okay? So after you guys are satisfied with the goal, the marble looks good, you have to put a clear powder over it, okay? Don't be lazy and just kind of do stuff on top of the polish and then the next thing you know they can feel all the bumps and all that. By putting the clear powder on, you won't feel any type of bumps. You won't feel any type of things sticking up, gold flakes sticking up, none of that, okay? You go in with the clear powder and make sure your powder is clear, y'all. Don't buy it cheap. So the powder I'm using is Young Nail Clear, Speed Clear, it's clear. There are some clear powder has bubble in it, there's fog in it, don't throw that away. Okay, after that you buff, you file, and look how it looks, y'all. Okay, look how that marble looks like. It looks clean, it looks bougie, and the client is feeling it, y'all. So that's how easy I did that design, okay? That's how easy it is. And all you have to do is offer that to the client and trust the process. You trust the process, you give the client what they want and they never had, more tips, more money in your pocket, and another return customer because you went above and beyond for them. If you find this tutorial useful and you love it, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna learn how to do a backfill, check out this video. I will show you from start to finish how to do a backfill. I am out.